It is mid-afternoon on a bright, sunny Tuesday. But darkness has descended on Fort McMurray and 80,000 people are fleeing for their lives. Behind, on the left of screen, animals run from the forest. Those are burning embers flying through the air. And people further on are being chased by the monster fire. This is what it left behind. These are the first mobile phone pictures from inside the ruined city. No houses, no cars, everything burned on the street. Crazy what fire can do. Crazy. Three days on, the fires are still burning and people are still escaping. Many thousands who were trapped north of the city are now being led to safety in a convoy. Others are being flown to emergency centres like this one, more than 200 miles from their ruined homes. Around 150 helicopters are still fighting this fire. The challenge for the pilots and more than a thousand firefighters on the ground is clear from the air. The extent of this wildfire is breathtaking. We continue to monitor the situation closely with high temperatures and shifting winds changing rapidly and we continue to urge caution to all evacuees. And the power of the fire is truly awesome. Just look at it. Well, this is what the firefighters are having to deal with. This is just erupted in the last 15 or 20 minutes. It's taken hold very, very quickly and the flames are being fanned by very strong winds. As if that wasn't bad enough, temperatures tomorrow are forecast to soar. James Cook, BBC News, near Fort McMurray in Alberta.